into the online broadcast network. After Buzz TV, over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. Oh, after Buzz TV, the destination for TV super fans. Producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! There it is. Ooh. One more time. Our spooky intro. We had to go back to the original. <laughs> you know, I was really actually thinking that maybe for the finale they would change it. Maybe hopefully for season two. Yeah. They'll we'll change see. it. But uh, anyways. It kind of, it fits, I will say it fits like the mood of the opening thing that they show. Where it's just kind of this haunting, creepy thing. But I, I don't know. I just like, I like something that moves, you know? Yeah, it's just yeah, me. I'm with yeah. you. Well, and the way it ends, but we'll get to that. Whoa. Hi, everybody. Hi, Welcome to another episode, the final episode of Man in the High Castle, season one. This is episode 10. This is A Way Out. A Way Out. Yes, I am your host, Courtney Henderson, and I am here with Taylor. Hi, guys. My name is Taylor Bolt. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Taybolt, that's T A Y B O L D T, or on Instagram at T Bolt, also B O L D T. He posts photos. I do. They're good photos. Thank you. Should you. Check it out. Oh, thank I you like so them. Much. Yes. Thank you. And YouTube. That's so sweet. But that's another. That's a whole love, other thing. We we got too much to who talk about. my Instagram <laughs> game. That's awesome. I, I'm like, I need inspiration. No, <laughs> 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 All right. Well, you were kind of talking about it with the music, kind of uh, of the show, introing, kind of perfectly leading us in. So, kind of. I'll, yeah. I'll hand it over. I mean, we sort of pick up because I mean, it's sort of, uh, you know, we have this intro where they're projecting, like, where we're getting projections on top of actual monuments and things. My favorite is the eagle, the, the mm -hmm. like the Nazi eagle, where they project the eagle on top of the actual carving of it. Uh, but we get transition straight from those projections into film projections. Hey, so we get to see uh, just sort of like a recap of the film that we saw at the end of last episode. And, you know, these films have become, they were always sort of the most important thing, but they've become so important to the point where anytime I see something in the grainy film, You're like, is that it? Yeah, I'm like, is what's going more? on? There's more secrets, more yeah. secret information. Uh, but again, we see Joe shoot Frank, Frank, in the back of the head and execution style yeah. and kill him. And then we're sort of left with that, like, what did we just see? Like, they're, right. they're left with that feeling too, but we as an audience are also just like, what the heck did we just see? <laughs> uh, well, I'm and we kind of tried to talk about it last week. Um, so check that out if mm. you haven't been able to see that yet. But the thing I also thought was interesting, and I, I'm hoping it was foreshadowing because I didn't see it come out in this episode, was when she, um, Juliana asked Frank about the guy next to him, you know, in the video, and how oh, right, he looked yeah. familiar to her. Like, did he know him or, you know, because he's like, he looked familiar. That's interesting, yeah. And we didn't see the footage That's again. That's gotta be foreshadowing. You know I what I mean? That's like the only would, thing I could think. There's no reason they would say that if that didn't mean something. Right. So either um, that's a character we haven't met or I just haven't made the connection in that episode yet. But yeah. Who knows? So we will see. Yeah. Well, um, we but, have... We have Joe enter, yes. and then we've just, there's so much tension because they've just seen him execute Frank. So And he doesn't know do that because he hasn't seen it. It's like, have you ever have you ever had like a fight with your best friend in like a dream or something? And then you wake up the next day and you're like pissed at them and you're like, wait, 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 no, no, no. You didn't do that. It was just a dream. Have you ever um, sort of I know the feeling the in a dream. Not, not that specific dream, but yes, I have woken <laughs> not up. Not that specific dream. I've yeah. woken up kind of feeling like heated from a dream and being like, wait. Yeah. Did uh, we really have that fight? Is yeah, that, was real? that real? I've or, never I've never had my friend execute me in a dream. No. <laughs> or in a video or anything. Right. Yeah, kind of going, uh well, and they're not even friends. Well, first yeah, of all, that's they're true. about as as far away from being friends they're as like two people could be. Apexes of a triangle if you know right. what I mean. Yeah. An unspoken triangle, right. of course. There's not a line that connects uh, them. Which we kind of see a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, which just, I just really do love the Joe Juliana I like thing. It. I want, I, like I really too. want it to happen, you guys. I like it too, which is a shame because honestly, like Frank kind of waited for her. He was sort he's of. He's not a bad he's guy. Been, like, Frank's a good guy. That's oh, why I feel so bad that I'm wanting. still kind of like Team Joe. And, and Joe, I, yeah. 
Okay, well, ugh, I want to talk about that, but I don't know if we should talk about the end. We can't We can't talk about the end okay, until the end. Okay. This end blew my mind, and I don't really know if I even know how to talk about it yet. Right. So let's ease into it for Right, sure. okay. Well, let's just talk about um, the fact that we see the man and the high castle i'm yeah that's i even i didn't realize that that's what it was until i like literally as it was happening yeah i was like oh my god the austrian alps yes and guess who's going it's the high castle it's a uh, rudolph 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 is going to what? the high castle which i'm assuming that's the high castle right that's got to be it's, what it is yeah and that's got i mean hitler well, is the man because so that's why okay remember i don't know episode one or two i was like mm. i read something that said like hitler is the man oh that makes sense and so i don't I don't remember if that was a spoiler and I didn't realize it or if it you, was just speculation. I don't think that you said that specifically. Oh, I like did. if you just said it was Hitler. That, that I didn't think that that I read that that was speculation. Okay, yeah. I we think that that was it. probably pretty good speculation because we see I mean this is gorgeous shot of this car like weaving through the yeah. woods and you see this high castle there you yeah. go. You see, like, a castle in the middle of, of, like, a mountainous region as they're, like, going up there. And you know that Rudolph's going to meet Hitler. Uh, to well, technically, to we don't know that him. it's Hitler yet. Well, no, but we've established that he's going to see the Fuhrer. Oh, right, like, right. Yeah, we so just, but we don't we know assume, that it's Hitler. Right. Yeah, we assume yeah. that that's his destination. Right. But I guess, it, it, but when he pulls up and we see them, like, taking his pistol and checking his papers and you see the armed yeah. guards in the hallway, I was sort of like, yeah, this is, and when you walk in, yeah, you walk into the office and it's like, mm, yeah. he's watching films. Yeah, exactly. It's so, I mean, as soon as I saw that, I was like, this is it. Like, he's collecting these films. Yeah. It's just so interesting that if he's the one that wants these films, then who's leading the resistance? Or is it his resistance somehow? You know what I mean? Like, that's what I don't understand. Is, yeah, same. Is well, the resistance just trying to keep these films away from him? Is that the point? Is that the point of what they're doing? Or I, why do these or films do exist? They, are, there, are there not actually two men in two different high castles, but do the resistance think they're working for the man in the high castle, not realizing it's Hitler? You know, like That's why I don't know. Because wasn't Lem the one that was... Like, oh, this is a couple episodes like they, they were, like, like, going to see the man in the high yeah. castle, right? That was the point when they went to the neutral zone, was trying to see the man in the high castle, which... Is there... I mean, is there two... Was that, like, just sort of, like, right. a pseudonym, or... I don't know. Is the resistance working for Hitler somehow? Well, I, and that's... Yeah. I mean, okay, so... And then why does... Why does John Smith tell Joe early on in the season when Joe is going to the neutral zone to put a bullet to kill the man in the high castle? You know what I mean? He said, Ooh. you go meet him, and if you see him, like, you will sacrifice your life to try to kill him. But like, do you think that was is... just because that Joe was giving him the information that we're supposed to be meeting the man in the high castle? And um, that John Smith is none the wiser uh, like yeah, anybody else? I mean, else? I'm not saying that John Smith knows, but, Who? but, but um... they think that the man in the high castle is somewhere in, like, Colorado. Like, he thinks that... Right, because that's where Joe was, and if he's going right. to meet him, like he thinks that that's what's happening. So it's somewhere in in the neutral state. So then, how can it be Hitler all the way in Berlin or in Europe? You know, it's Berlin right. basically outside or, of Berlin. But I feel like maybe John Smith did know, and he was just kind of playing along. It's be because it's possible because you know, going to him now, we see him on this hunting trip. Mm hmm. And yeah, he brings is, his own gun, super, which I loved. You know, it's like, super I tense. brought you a gun. It's like, I think I'm going to use my I'm own. I'm going to use my gun. And he, he has his aid there, yeah. uh, Hydrix aid. And he's like, oh, God. You just see his yeah. face sort of all. He's like, no, I'm yeah. going to bring my own gun. Because it was sort I of mean, verification that this was the horror story scenario that he thought it might yes. be. Yes. Well, that and it's, I mean, it's one of those where, of course, it, it seemed like they were going to try to make it look like a suicide or something. Right. And yeah. which, uh, well, they, or they like were a gun malfunction. And well, it's like, why wouldn't his own gun do that better? But it's yeah. like they also didn't have control over well, what was going on with the gun well, prior. I think, I think maybe it was just that they were trying to see if they could get him on their side. Like whatever like weird little traitory resistance thing that they were doing. It seems like they were trying to see if they could sort of recruit him to that. And that's because uh, otherwise it would be so easy to just kill him. You know what I mean? It would be so easy. But for he them says to just that. Yeah. John, I believe John Smith says that. Like, yeah, says that if you wanted to kill me. We wouldn't yeah. be going on this. Like, this whole charade wouldn't be necessary. But, right. And the charade was actually a test. Right. Well, To it, see which side. And so that's why well, it's I... it's a test to see what side someone's on. But if you put a barrel of a gun in their face and say, like, are you on my side? It's but he said like, no. No, I thought, I thought that he said, like, 
my understanding was that he basically said yes because he said like are, are i'm not in it alone are you in it alone and he was but then at the end he said sh- no so as to be like no like i'm on your side kind of oh i didn't take it that him. way at all because well I, to me it's like if he as soon as he decided to shake his head no he would know that he was going to die so he would either they would just kill him before you know what i mean like that i took that to mean to, as a, I took that as a sign of consolidarity, and you know I think it was like a forced confession, but I took that to mean that he was going to at least play along with siding with Hydric, or else is you know he takes a bullet in the back. But of then the head. no, because that guard got shot. Right, but that didn't happen yet. What I'm saying is. Heydrich has the phone, and he's about to talk to Hitler. Or right. He's about to he talk. doesn't know who he's about to well, talk but to. He, but he thinks that it's going to be a confirmation that Hitler's dead. That's what he understands, right? But he's right. saying, he told John that you have to side with me. You have to you have to agree that you're we're in this together right. before I get this phone but, call. Right, because depending on who answers the phone depends on whether John lives or not. That's how I took that. Oh, no, no, no. Because, no, I because took it, I took it, if, I took he it said as... he's, if he says he's with Hitler... And not mm-hmm. with Heydrich, or you know, or with the Fuhrer, and not with Heydrich. Then, if Rudolf answers the phone, he's dead. If the Fuhrer answers the phone, I don't think they're going to kill him. Oh no, I think they are. You think I, they're going to kill him either way? Well, yeah. Why wouldn't you? Because now he's a witness to all of this. He knows that you're a traitor. I I think my my take of it was just that um, Heydrich's basically trying to have the Fuhrer killed, right? He's yeah. like, and he's not a, alone. A, a resistance cell. Sure, he's not alone, but he's trying to get John Smith on his side. He's trying to get him as an agent or as, right. a, as a recruiter. Totally side. agree. But it's a matter of, okay, so when I get this phone call, he's not expecting it to be Hitler. It's not like maybe it's Hitler, maybe it's not. It's like, this is going to be confirmation that Hitler's been killed. And so when I get this confirmation, you need to have sided with me. Because if you haven't, you're dead. You're dead. It's like, I mean, they're going to kill you or we're going to work together. So I need to know before I take this. So that's why he like answers the phone and like puts it over and he's like, so right, are, we, but, are we in a, are we? But in why would it matter if he if he was sure it was going to be Rudolph? Because it shouldn't matter if Hitler's dead or not. It's it, just a matter of getting him to make a decision. It shouldn't matter. But I think what happens is as soon as the guard is shot, you know. Right, but what I'm saying is they then, don't they don't know that Rudolph's actually because he can't go in with a gun. Mm-hmm. The whole they, you know they talk about the paranoia and the beauty of Heydrich, Hitler's. I don't think Heydrich doubts at any point that Rudolph's going to kill Hitler. I think that he's. For sure that it's going to happen. I don't think that he doubts it for a second. That's why we see him so surprised when he's playing my Fuhrer, when he's like, so he's so shocked that it was Hitler on the phone. Okay. You know what I, I mean? Yeah, I, I don't think, I, that, I, don't think that. I don't think it was like, maybe this will work. So, he had all of his eggs in this basket. If Hitler doesn't, if Hitler doesn't, uh, if, if Rudolph doesn't kill Hitler, then he's screwed anyways. You know what I mean? It's like, that's a must. Like, Rudolph must kill Hitler for right. any of this to go forward. And I almost feel like there's a chance that John Smith knew that. I mean, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, that's possible. Because, I have no idea because what's going on he there. did side with Hitler. John he Smith never wavered from that. Knows even, more. You know what I mean. Than and we think he, he does. but he also knows Rudolph. So he, I think he yeah, also knew. But you know, Rudolph in that moment, if it came to it, couldn't mm. do it. I don't, I don't because know. Because the, Maybe. because that was one of I mean because Hitler banked on that. I mean, he people, banked on that. He knows him yeah, and Hitler banked and on I that. And I have to imagine that either the three of them worked together, you know, it was like mm. an earlier time when they were maybe closer w- there or yeah, he, or he just he being John Smith just knew I feel like that John Rudolph Smith couldn't do it. I feel like John Smith has a connection to Hitler that we aren't aware of yet for sure right. because he's like his special task force Because for I also films. think that's but, probably why there was somebody there to kill the guard. Yeah. They had that, so to know actually, that John Smith was being taken up I'm, to be killed. I'm wondering about that. Or potentially that. killed. I'm wondering, is that guy one of John Smith's men? You know, because he has men too. That he was of just course. like He was just like, we're going hunting. It's probably going to be this cabin. I want you to follow us through the woods and set up. And You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm wondering if that was John Smith's men or if that was somehow... Because Hitler knew that this was all happening, he seems right. to, if he did this to sort of save him. Does that make sense? Right. Like, that's what I but don't But I know. think if Hitler knew and set it up to save John Smith, that John Smith also knew mm. that Hitler... Like, they were in on it together. It wasn't... It wasn't... Quite, like, quite possibly. You know, like, secret plans, because... Quite, quite possibly, uh, yeah. Because otherwise, again, like, why would John Smith go? It's too risky that they're going to shoot. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's. I think it just boils down to we don't know how tightly knit he is with Hitler 
but if that's the case, I think that's that's very possible because um, it seems like they are pretty close. Yeah, it could have been that he was it was sort of like a long shot and he managed to survive, but I th I think it is stronger if he was somehow in on it with on Hitler's side of things. Of course, Hitler had you know it wasn't just that Hitler banked on the fact that I think it's I think it's um, almost naivete to say that Hitler just knew Rudolf couldn't do it so much as he he didn't think that he could do it, but he also had this thing like, listen, you kill me, like you're gonna start this war. And it was that that he knew that he couldn't live with. He knew that, because he had leverage basically is what I'm saying. Because Rudolph's idealism is just that he can't, he doesn't want to cause, he wants to, he, he's caused enough destruction. He right. doesn't want to cause any more destruction. So when Hitler says like, listen, if you don't do this, I'll keep your family safe. That was the one point of contention. Right. But also, if you do do this, there's going to be uh, a nuclear war, basically. Or, you know, he doesn't know if it's going to be a nuclear right. war, maybe. But there's going to be a war. There's gonna, and it's going to be your fault. And it's going to be your fault. And all yeah. these people are going to die because of you. And I think that is what made Rudolph concede. Agreed, but Hitler knew he had that going into it, which oh, is why yeah. Hitler, no. I don't, I mean, my, I don't my, think my he would have being... left a gun available for him to grab sure. if he in any way thought oh, his no. life was actually he in was, danger. He was sure he was fine. I just think, my, I guess my point is that it, it wasn't just because Rudolph can't do it, it's because Rudolph can't do it with his information. Like if you right. if you if you uh, once all the leverage is presented, of course he won't. You know, because right. he wouldn't live with Which that. Which is why I wish that he would have or could have. Yeah. Anyways, just because it's it, it to me it was a little predictable. As soon as Hitler started talking to him, mm. I was like, he's gonna freaking shoot himself, and he did. And mm. I was so disappointed, only because it was just kind of like. Here we go again. This is the way it always goes. Yeah. You but know, it, but it was and, kind of a cool way to meet Hitler in in the course of the story. Okay, so that was yeah. actually going to be the next thing. Okay. <laughs> I actually was really it, Okay, n having seen the whole episode. Hmm. Now, I really understand why they introduced us to the the castle and to Hitler, you know, how they did when they did. Mm -hmm. But I was actually really I don't know, it was just very anticlimactic for me um, until you walk into the office and he's watch, you know, Hitler's watching the until tapes. Watching it the was film, one of those yeah. where I'm like, seriously? We're like, what, a third of the way into this episode and you're just gonna like do those like li big landscape, you know, yeah. sweeping shots and I'm just like, no, no, you no. You think that that should have like come at the very end sort of like, yes. and like now we meet the right. man. Well, no, I, I or not even, like you just show the castle and it's like that big view mm. and then cut season two you know what i mean to yeah. where i just felt like yeah but that there wouldn't have been enough episode then here's the thing i would 100 percent agree with you but i actually think because if, if that was the biggest discovery in this episode i would 100 percent agree with you but i think the way that it actually ended and then cut wait for season two is even more of a mind-blowing but i thing. feel like you could have done all of the same stuff and just had that later in the episode Sure. You know, okay. because the series of, because all of these things are happening at the same time in their respective places in the world. Right. Right. When, so it just, it, but the, again, I understand and I, I'm not, I don't hate on it, but as I was watching it, you know, in real time going through, not knowing how the episode ends, I yeah. was just like, meh, this is, this was a little disappointing for me well, I, in, I think in they, they being it. introduced to the castle. What specifically happened between us seeing the castle and... Rudolph actually killing Hitler. There, there wasn't a whole lot. I feel like because we have some of the the talking right, points. Right, but what I'm in saying the, the, is all the, the stuff the that happens trip. with Juliana and Joe, all the stuff that happens with Frank and Ed, that's all happening at the same time, You're just on the other side happened, of the world. That should have just all happened first, and then all yeah, the Hitler stuff. Yeah, I think so. I think. Yeah. I mean, granted, maybe they looked I, at that and it didn't. Yeah. I mean, they, they know what they're doing, obviously, sure, but. Yeah. But, um, but like I said, it just in the moment watching it, it was just kind of like, really, yeah. this this is it. I would, I like, would. We waited all season, and you're gonna show it to us, but it's just gonna be anticlimactically in the middle I mean, of I, the episode. I thought it was, I thought it was still gorgeous. Yeah, I see what you're you know saying. What I'm saying. I totally see what you're saying. I think that it would be a much bigger deal to me if there wasn't that even larger reveal at the end. You know what I mean? But like, I absolutely but you, agree. I don't. I absolutely I, see what I you're saying. I feel like what, but I also feel like. 
But I just don't you even know knew, how to talk about you it. You knew the end was going to happen it. other than... Oh, I didn't know the end was going to happen. Okay. Well, oh, I didn't. Okay, I didn't as, okay so as, <laughs> I I'm saying, I'm saying you knew Joe nor Juliana were ever going to actually turn and kill yeah, or, or cause I, I, I the death of one another. I'm talking that's about, what I'm, I'm saying. I'm talking specifically about the very end with Tagomi. Like, yeah, that, well, yes. that specific moment R- is what I'm talking about. Agreed. Yeah, no, all like... But the Ju- I still I, think... I knew Joe wasn't going to die, obviously. I was actually afraid Lim was going to die for a minute. Because he was like, it was like mm-hmm. gonna be like Lim v Joe for a second, and I was like, no, one of them is gonna die, and yeah. it's not gonna be Joe because Joe is too central. Yeah. Um, so before we get into that, let's. I want to talk about Ed. Yeah. With the oh gun, gosh. right? This so, is okay. We talked about this last episode. Yeah. That's why we were just like something bad's gonna happen with he's Ed. He's like such a good friend, yeah. and like uh, he's the character for some reason. I, I don't they even feel sorry for him. They just can't get out of San Francisco. They just oh can't. Gosh, they right? just can't get away. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel really bad for Ed, but also like this is, I think, why he was sort of an unsettling character. For we've talked about this multiple right, times right. all season. Why he was so unsettling is just that we knew we knew in our heart of hearts that something like this was coming. That it just was. He was too. Well, he was too good of a character. He, got like, he was the, too such like a good a good person. That, he got the gun. You know yeah. what I mean? As, as, so as soon as I, I, first of all, I didn't understand why he got the gun. Why didn't Why didn't Frank just keep the gun? I don't. I don't know. I don't really I, understand I didn't, that. Be, I mean, because otherwise Ed couldn't try to go melt it down and get but caught. But why and, even? I mean, but if Frank's tr- his whole plan was just to flee to the neutral zone, like wouldn't a gun be somewhat useful? You could at least sell it. Well, I think it's just one of those because the gun had already been like clearly targeted yeah. as the murder or attempted murder weapon. I just wouldn't. He have... didn't want to have it on him because they were still looking for him, whereas they weren't looking for Ed at all. But why did Ed? But why did he feel like he needed to melt it down at the factory? Like the factory that's been under scrutiny of the campaign uh, right. the only throw thing... it throw it in the, you're in San Francisco throw it into the into the river I mean or throw keep it, it in a Bay drawer Bridge. like again you're in no way under suspicion at this yeah, point yeah he's totally not like <laughs> why would you take the gun to work where the campaign tie have been searching for it <sighs> and try to like very quickly like throw it into a kiln which I mean are they, it's like they're not gonna know like what's this weird metal in here yeah. I guess at that point it wouldn't matter but still like throw it throw it in the water like, no one's going to find it. I, I, the only thing I can think of is that he obviously felt like he had enough freedom at work that he didn't think he'd get caught. Uh, I, I mean... I'm sure he didn't, but... He knew he that there would be an element of risk, but... He's still, it was still so stressful. He was like, okay, they're leaving, and now I can do it really fast, and I can get the tongs, and... Like, forget the tongs, man. Just throw it in there. Just, you know, just kind of toss it in. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just... I feel like that was poor planning on Ed's part, yeah. and he's going to pay the price for it, which I is, don't know. I don't know, because... Uh, I, I don't know. He's going to be in know. trouble. He's going to be in trouble. Oh, I think that I think that he's going to be the scapegoat because I think that they have his confession on tape. Keto, Inspector Keto, doesn't really care who did it because he knows who did it. Because right, we it's see him, neither of them, yeah, and they we know see that. Him, we see him kill the the Nazi assassin right. who did it. So he knows who did it. He's just looking and that's for already someone. Taken care of. Yeah, exactly. He's just, he's trying, just trying to blame it on someone, and it doesn't matter who it is. He's trying to keep the peace, right? Exactly. So it can't be a Nazi. It so it just has to be a civilian. Exactly. So he doesn't care who, as long as it's some civilian. And now he has. Ed's confession on tape. So we're that's assuming because it yeah. cut it like very distinctly cut. Because I remember yeah. in that moment watching it, thinking, "This is the thing I hate about TV and film." Yeah, is like on stage. If you're having a conversation like that, you can't just cut when it gets good. But you know I, what I mean? You have I just, to. You have to fully live out the moment. Whereas in in right. In editing, I, you can cut yeah. perfectly like that. I think that I think that he did. I think that I'm not sure if we're supposed to infer that. That's just what I think. Because um, if he didn't, they wouldn't be like leading him out in handcuffs like that. You know what I mean? They wouldn't. I think. Well, but I think I still think he, they would because well, they even would be if using he didn't him as a witness it, against Frank, if he said no, it was Frank's gun. But they gun. couldn't find Frank, and I I don't well, think Frank he said anything. Into, I know, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't think Ed's going to be in trouble. I think it's going to all be on. Well, let me let me correct this. I don't think Ed is going to be the one that gets in trouble for doing the attempted assassination, mm. but I think he's still going to be in trouble and put on a list or whatever, if not killed, for trying to, you know, get rid of evidence, trying to get rid of the gun. Yeah, I think um, maybe I should save it for predictions, but I, I do think that it's going to land on Ed's shoulders. Whether or not he actually gets executed, like, you know, maybe the resistance comes along and, like, Frank uses some sort of leverage and tries to get it. Like, who knows? What leverage does Frank have I, n- at this like, point? None, you know what I mean? Not really, but, like, also, Frank was, we saw him on top, like, in front of 
the firing squad and like last minute they saved yeah. him for uh, ostensibly like no real reason other than that they felt like it yeah I mean, they if I was Inspector Keto, I probably would have just said, yeah, just, you know, whatever. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Because why, why he's clearly going to be like a resistance member. You just killed his sister. You know what I mean? Right. So it was just like, go ahead and do it. Um, so I think that it's not unheard of just because we have that precedence for Ed to be like convicted and be about to be executed or whatever and somehow get out of it. Okay. Um, true. I would, I would yeah, go with that. But I would like, go with that. What, but who knows? It's just right. all speculation at this point. But I, I do feel like, I feel like Ed confessed. I think he confessed, and I think that it's going to be... He's going to be at blame, and now Frank is going to have to try to find a way to get him out. And I think right. that's going to be part of Frank's character arc in season two, when season two comes around. Because, okay, the, the reason I guess I will um, agree to disagree is okay. because I feel like they're both... First of all, you know, we know Frank, he, neither of them actually did it. Frank mm. wanted or thought about it. There's witnesses that say he never fired the gun. We hear them oh. say that. Um, now, of course, but they can a, keep all of that at bay. Keto doesn't care. No, like, I know. We, yeah. But the problem is, if they're both trying to take the blame, and they're both like confessing, mm -hmm. then there's gonna be a problem letting either of them out. Or you know what I right. mean? So um, they and, could keep them both, is what you're saying. Is that what you're right, saying? They could keep them both, but he also couldn't just pin it on one of them because I think there's enough people around that it it would be a little bit of an issue so if. Just just kill one of them, put it on the other. You know what I mean? But I'm saying, but then there's still not people that. will still talk though, and I don't think either of them would ever well give in on the other person because it's so it's one of those where no matter what happens now, if they have two people both claiming to be the one that right. attempted it, but it's not like they're gonna get media coverage as a thing. Like, what do you mean? Like people will talk? Like who's gonna know? I mean, who's gonna know anybody? That... Anybody there? Yeah, but they're all. I mean, they're all Kempe Tai. Like, it's not. Yeah, like, but it's still. I don't know. I don't think that's gonna out. be. I don't think that's gonna be a huge issue. I mean, I think that. Yeah, I, I just don't see that being like a pivotal plot point, just because it's would be so easy to deal with from from an like if you're an autocratic government, mm -hmm. it's not. I don't think you worry about that. You know what I'm saying? If you're an empire and you're like a secret police for the empire, and there's like, oh, these two people are confessing to the same crime, it's like just d make sure no one hears them. You know. Right, but then how are they going to do that? I think it's simple. I think that they're going to they, kill them both, well, or they keep them locked up until they fix, until they sort it out. Right, but, but that's my, my, my point. point my eventually, point is, you can't just keep two people locked up and have it not eventually cause a problem. Because sure. we have oh, Ed's grandpa. I, I think I think that, it must. You know what I mean? But I also think and then that Juliana at some point. I hope, I think, is going to come looking for, for Frank. Yeah, but the idea that the media is going to, like, pick this up. I'm and, not, like, no, 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 I've never said the media. That I'm not saying the media. The, or even that the word is going to get out, I think, is very, like, like modern-day realistic actuality, like real-life America, to think that, like, a word will get out. Whereas I think that in a government structure like this, no, I think it's easy that the word doesn't get out. You know, it's not like they have. I mean, we, we right, see but this in the things real are world. changing. That's what I'm saying. Right. Like going into season two, a lot is going to be different. Things are changing, but unless they like invent Twitter, which is you know sort of what. No, costs, I'm like, not. You don't have to have Twitter. No, no, I, I know, but my because, point being, but there, but we're already seeing, which I would imagine is on you know in both in both the Japanese and the German governments. We're already seeing it, like, within the German government, Smith versus Heydrich. Like, you're already seeing two different sides within the government. It's already right. sort of starting to fail. That has to be true because we look at the trade minister, you know, and granted, he's so, I, he sort of represents not all sides, but in a way because he works with all these international people. Uh -huh. um, but I just, I don't think that it's all as strong as it seems or they want us to think because even Juliana's what do you dad mean, not, not as strong as I, I'm saying I don't think that the government can really keep as much oh as sort of monolithic yes as, yeah, like as I don't like think the wall entity. is as strong sure because all it takes is two guys sitting you know in the bar saying and yeah. again like no. I know this is modern day like saying something about can you believe those two guys like what idiots are you know what I mean yeah. and and, and then just things just get out. Like I can, it's, it's I, if, hard. If, if the to... point is that I think the I think the point you're trying to make is that Ed and Frank, if they are both both confessing to the same pri uh, crime, it's going to cause problems. I don't yeah. think that those are going to be huge problems, but I could see for the plot of season two. I think I guess what I'm saying is if this was a real life scenario, 
I don't think it would be a problem. You know what I mean? If this was a real life scenario that this was happening, I think that Inspector Keto's already covering some stuff up. He'd just figure out, out a way to just make it go away. But for the purposes well, of the mm, plot of the show... I don't think show, he's doing a good job, though. Well, I, That's again, my point. Again, what I'm saying is like real life scenario. Now, in the context of the show, who knows? I think that that could very well be um, an issue or at least... I don't know. I just I see it resolving itself pretty quickly. I don't see the dragging. I never said it will resolve. No, no, That's no, my not, like but you're well, I'm not you're, arguing with you. I'm you are I'm trying, arguing with I'm me. I'm trying to agree with you that I think that it would um that that could cause an issue in the context of the plot of this show. Yeah, that's I, all I was saying. No, yeah, my, I don't think it's going to be like a major plot point. I don't think it's going to take a whole season. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think that. Yeah, that's okay. Not what I, thought. I I guess what I was just saying is that like I was just trying to make a comment on the uh, the structure of like an autocratic government like this, where right. If this, I think if this that's was real life, now. sure. If this was real life, I think they could just go like that and it would just vanish. But I think in that, that time period today, yeah. no. Oh no, not like, today. But you, right. you already commented on that, right? Like, very like, like, well, like obviously they don't have Twitter. Well, it's ob- It'd well, be very hard to keep. It's that also cool under to bed. think yeah. about that. Like, how different would this right. world be that we that this show lives in if the if social media was a thing? Oh my gosh! You know, it would be so vastly different. There's so many things that we probably will never know about that have happened before social be- media. Yeah, yeah, because there yeah. wasn't. That that's kind really of constant eye, you oh, know. Oh gosh, that's really interesting. Yeah. Really? Okay, so <laughs> they are, and and the, the other thing is, you know, we're sitting here like, you know, going into this. We we don't even know, right? Technically, if Ed has in any way confessed, and we don't know yeah. if Frank is going to. I mean, I would imagine Frank went there because he's going to, and he's trying to be a good friend. And it's yeah. interesting because, in a weird way, I feel like this opened up the plot for Juliana and Joe. Because Frank's kind of choosing Ed. Over no, Juliana? Which mm-hmm. kind of, I mean, yeah, but I, see, I think... I guess I see that, because he's... I mean, he... If he's turning himself if, in. Right. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't know what's going to happen, or he he knows what's probably going to happen, and he's willing to do it anyways, in the yeah. name of of um, Ed. And, and, yeah, and so... that is true. Um, it just sort of puts him, not necessarily completely out of the picture, but like a little bit to the side... Um, but but again, now we have no idea where Joe is going. Right. We at least got that far. Um, right. Yeah. I mean, he, it looks like he just sort of hops on like a fishing boat or something. But which, okay, before he gets there, let's like backtrack. Mm. So he goes, or he, he's in the embassy. Yeah. So so he actually that was super stressful they're totally too. Totally lying way. to him. Oh yeah. So, which we don't know at first, but then you know it becomes obvious. So and, yeah, there's a whole. Again, this lends lends credit to Hydrick's thing, where he's like, "I'm not alone," even though he seems to be sort of like the mm-hmm. head of it, maybe. But I mean, this is crazy because Dietz is another uh, Obergruppenführer, <laughs> and he is in control of this embassy and is trying to. It's just how deep does this go? And is are we talking right? like are we talking like like Nazi civil war? Is that like what this could potentially be, or is this like the resistance somehow? This is the resistance. It's just I don't know. Whose allegiance is who now? Because yeah. I'm like, okay, so is the resistance like our Lim? Is is Lim working for Hitler? And is he because he's the well, man in the high castle? And is he? And John Smith wants to kill the man in the high castle, maybe, or is that just a ploy? And he's working with Hitler. And he knows what's going on. And then now Heydrich is like, is he the resistance now? Right. Like, what is his deal? Well, he's like captured now, but Dietz isn't at least not yet. Right. And it's just like, so are they the resistance? Well, but and it's the like, resistance is actually the do, Nazis, right? Does the resistance <laughs> know? that they are Nazis do, if they yeah, are the you know like do they, they know are, who they're work, they actually know? working for and I guess again technically mm. technically we saw Hitler in a castle in Austria okay, that lends true. very well to being the man in the high castle and I, I guess it's possible that it's not but, he, but, but we also see him watching films like we also right, see him watching right. films but you know what I, but you know what I'm saying yeah it, that's true nobody ever referred to him as the man in the high castle and it would be I think very climactic and mm-hmm. everything I could hope for um, for the Manal High Castle if if it's, we have, still don't know him right yet. yeah that could be you know true. that would be very cool you know I mean but again I mean yeah. I'm not naive to the fact that Hitler was it's in a high most castle. likely yeah we've it seen it <laughs> yeah but because the films you know and all that's this an stuff. interesting because point, the other though. thing was what well, was it the grasshopper I should have written wrote this the, the grasshopper lies heavy. lies heavy yeah none none of that stuff was. Um, it's just like talked a, about a code or like reference so far. I well, guess then, we don't and really then, know. Um, Joe said he watched the tape. 
Right, and it's, he's uh, uh, he's complete like saw a completely different tape apparently. Well, yeah, Joe Joe watched. No, he said that was his tape. Remember when we see him watching the tape uh, in the movie theater that he breaks into in uh, Cannon City? Oh, that was the oh, earlier yeah, yeah, tape, yeah. the one that he gave over to Lynn. But I okay for some reason was, I thought that was the same tape that Juliana had. No, no, no. They because he had got his from New York and brought it. Right, right, and she right. She got hers from True. But I guess I just assumed because oh, that it they said, were the same tape. Yeah, yeah, that it was the same footage. No, I think it's which, different because they never technically again they never right. told us there's a lot they didn't tell us yeah, i know there's still stuff holy that we crap don't know, but a lot of it came out in this episode which was really cool yeah it was it was stalinist propaganda which but it was five years after stalin was and assassinated again, or executed so like, is is that well i think again is there this other world that, which goes to the very end and we'll uh, get to because up until this point i was just like they're like in the matrix or something or this is like it's all like a facade and the allies really won the war or something like that because we're, we're seeing all this footage of right of allies winning the war but now we see like the atomic bomb going off in san francisco right it seems like so are these all is every tape just indicative of some alter reality because that hasn't happened yet in right? this reality but that's probably clearly not the same reality where we see the allies winning you know what i mean uh, right so they're like, all different yeah possibilities. Is, is, is every tape just like a different possible reality in some way shape or form well and is it a reality that could happen or that could have happened again i, I think i i want to I, I don't know but i think <laughs> i think i want to say maybe it's like could have happened in some yeah, way shape or form. it feels more like it that can be happening you know it's like Okay, can we can we go to the end? Can we? Yes. Okay. We get. We're, I mean, we we uh, yeah. We're yeah. we're there. We're okay. there. It's just it's just it's like a the white elephant in the room. Um, I mean. This, okay. If I, you have not seen the finale through the end, turn us off now. Yeah. Seriously. Watch it and then come right back. Because like the last, <laughs> it's like the last twenty yes. seconds changes mm -hmm. everything. So we see Tagomi on a park bench with the locket. That okay. Well, so first of all. He's basically told, like, there are people waiting for you. And so he says he's going to take the rest of the day off. Or, right. You know. And and that's the last we see him, right? Uh -huh. Until uh, yeah. this moment. Until this moment. And he's, like, walking through the streets of San Francisco. And he's yeah. holding this locket that he's grown wildly attached to. Which, which we I, still don't I kinda understand. Wanna, yeah, I kind of want to talk about that, too. Because I don't really get what the deal is with the I think, locket. I think that comes. I think we find out. We find out later. Yeah. I don't know. The, I will say, you know how the... Um, the uh what, I just thought of the it. The Kasura family was like this okay. thing has woo. Mm -hmm. It has it has the sorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if like Frank made the locket for Juliana or it's not it's not a locket, it's just a necklace, but made it for Juliana and it was like this it was that. It was like the sorrow of, of that mm -hmm. somehow is what is what uh Tagomi's feeling and like connecting to or something. Who yeah. knows? But there's obviously a a deep connection between him and this locket. Uh but he like is meditating on this park bench and audio effects and we zoom in on his face and then so we don't know yet we don't know and then we zoom back out the soundscape changes and we see kennedy is president yeah, of the united president. states the the u.s flag is flying it looks like san francisco i mean it looks like san in francisco in kennedy's era yeah as it would have yeah. been in the 60s yeah as it was <laughs> yeah as it actually yeah. was in our reality yes. like in this in this World. reality and to go me just sort of like what is going yeah. on? And I was like, I was just like, this is okay, not just so, happened. You did not just end the season on this note. Right? Because I was just like, how, where do we go from here? Like, what do I do with that? What do I do with that information? Courtney, I need you to tell me. I wish I like, knew a writer. <laughs> how do I handle You that? have to read the book. I, I guess, think that's yeah. the only... I guess. I, it's, I ordered it on Amazon. I it should it. be here this because week. Because we have a season two now. I was planning on reading the book once we finished up the after shows. And now that there's a season two, I feel like I can't do it because I don't feel like the book ends that way. You know what I mean? Like, we haven't finished the the book oh no over the course I don't, of what i don't we've... think so either so i don't know if i want to read it because it. it's i haven't i haven't read it yet it's like in route yeah so we'll see yeah. we'll see i don't know okay but before we go into predictions because i have predictions about the locket and, or the necklace and all of that right, um right. let's just quickly talk about so juliana is sent to get joe because mm -hmm. as we know they have gone their separate ways. He thinks he's safely waiting, return to New York. He's being lied to. Clearly there are conversations that 
he was told have happened that right. haven't or you know he's told oh we haven't been able to get a hold of john smith and then right he's, he's just told, being lied oh, yeah, to he was because he gets he gets he intercepts the phone call which i don't know why they left that phone in that room for him to be able to pick it up you know what i mean right like that was just way too convenient for joe but he learns that um, and why he would answer it why he would answer it well i guess if it's been ringing all day but like yeah it was too convenient it's just like why would they have that phone there for him you know like yeah. why in the world would they have Again, it and that's where it's one of those where it's like it's a show, so yeah, you know they you have they of, have to. You know, there has to be some way that he it's finds still out. good. I still liked it. Yeah, <laughs> I, it was fine. I think maybe if he was like sneaking, like if we saw him more. But why would he be skeptical? I don't know. It just had to work out that way. But um, yeah. Anyways, he gets the phone call, and basically he knows that they've been lying to him, and right. he thinks that the Dietz is working for Hydric. Um. So like that's dangerous yeah and then he gets confirmation that they haven't been talking you know right. Oprah group and Fuhrer Smith has been out of the office all day they can't right. get in touch with him so when he asks Dietz again like have and you he, spoken then he and lies like, to his face yeah and he's like oh okay oh, yeah. this is happening and go to the basement yeah, I'm like what is that you're playing like all of a sudden now conveniently your ride is here you go to the basement and go to the basement and he's like and, I can't just use the regular and he entrance. doesn't even follow him he doesn't follow him all the way to the right. basement. No one goes with. No one escorts him to well, the they, basement. They imply at least for a like decent, you know, number of floors that he Is like watching. watches. Yeah, but still, like, as soon as Joe made the decision to get out of the embassy, like to not go yeah. through with what they were setting oh, up for right. him to do, it was like it was no big deal. I mean, he has time to stop in the hallway okay, and talk but, to Juliana and like the foyer of the embassy. And I think that just must be like a timing thing. Like they yeah. didn't have a set time that I he was going like, to be brought to the basement and he's you know he's yeah. upstairs unalarmed because he thinks he is in the basement i feel like a scene got cut i feel like there's a scene where he's like sneaking past it was the like guard oh or the, the episode's already this long yeah. this is more important and you know yeah. i mean but I, I, it's could, fine i'll, I'll buy into that see it. but well i think we will i could have used i could have used a moment of like explanation as to why or as to how he was able to sneak past and get it like it because it seemed like it was no big deal for him to just decide not to go through the but, basement I mean, the building is several floors so it's one oh, of those yeah. where it's very, I think, viable that somebody that would have known mm -hmm. that he was supposed to be kept. Yeah. Because it's not like they could have everybody in on this. You sure. know what I mean? But then why wouldn't to where you would escort be alarming. him? I don't know. Uh, no, and again, yeah, it's, it's like where it's the show. I mean, and it truly maybe a scene way. was yeah. was cut. But I also think that even more so now because, because Joe, scenes? yes, because be awesome. Joe ends up on the boat and all you know the way that it all worked out there's going to be questions sure, yeah. that have to be you know people are going to have to answer for why joe wasn't followed all the way into the basement why right. they didn't uh, you know alarm anybody when he didn't show up in a x amount of time you right, know yeah. why nobody can freaking find him now you right. know because uh, we don't know where he's going i don't he's not going to yeah. new york on a boat out of san francisco where, he, and does he have the film i think he has the film still right it was unclear. Yeah, we, don't, At least we don't know if, if you Juliana saw. Got the film. Tell us, tweet us, because he's holding it out. Find us on YouTube. Yeah, but he doesn't. We don't ever see the film exchange hands. So maybe he gave right. it to Juliana. Maybe he still has it. But uh, it seems like. But it also seems like he would need to have it. Because what is he going to do if he doesn't have it? But he's not know? going to New York. I guess that's so. It's, true. it's one of those where. Or is he? Maybe. Maybe not. Well, I mean, I don't know. if he is, if he is still trying to get there, he's taking a very roundabout way because I don't think he knows where that boat's going. No, but I think you he know. just needs to get off the pier. Oh, uh, no, agree, yeah. because otherwise, like, Lem's going to kill him. Right. And I love how he figures it out, which, of course, we knew he was going to yeah. because she's going to let, without saying it, you know, their connection, which is probably what we all see, which is why we're like, we want this to happen, even though there's no reason yeah. to dislike she Frank. Takes, she takes a big shot to letting him go here. I mean, she takes a big sort of like a, yeah. a vote of confidence in him one way or the other, because I don't know. I mean, it's like he hasn't denied being a Nazi at this point. But she's he says he like she changed him. And because I think it's just the connection yeah, thing. It's that's just true. just being like you were you were maybe maybe you're not. Yeah. Maybe it doesn't matter. But like I believe in you sort of thing like yeah. she has faith or she knows that he's a good person which i agree i think he's a good person i think he's in he, like in he's like her like he's just stuck in this position where it's like i'm just fighting to stay alive and part of that has been doing things yeah. for the Nazis. you know what i mean what happens things, to be the nazis yeah. like i've also helped you and your resistance or so you know so it's one of those where it's like yeah i'm in a gray area uh, yeah, you well, know and did, i've yeah. just been in survival mode yeah. when I've had to be because now the Nazis aren't exactly on his side. Right. I, yeah, I can. I can. You know. Percent agree with that. I mean, so. the Nazis aren't even on the Nazi side. It seems like. Right. Well, let's okay. <laughs> let's go into predictions um, for season two. 
Can we have some, some predictions? Light show. Ooh. <laughs> and now, your After Buzz TV predictions. Okay, so before I forget it, mm -hmm. I'm going to predict um, that the necklace in um, Tagomi's hand is somehow, you know, in this alternate reality or mm. actual reality that feels like an alternate reality because of the world we've been currently existing in. Mm. And that somehow Julian and him like end up in this Kennedy era. And that's mm. how like they find each other in that other time. You okay, know what I mean? Because yeah. it's like, or or somebody that, oh, oh I guess it's almost like a, a difference of timing. And it's like, but somehow she ends up seeing him or finding him and the necklace is sort of what makes them meet each other or know each other in a time so where maybe they she, don't she actually know to, each other already. Oh, so you're saying that there's like the, the alternate form of Juliana. Right. Right, that he meets the other, the, right. the like but real real life In that era, yeah. Juliana. But somehow okay. the necklace, it's kind of like, how did you get that? That's yeah. mine. And I mean, but right. I mean, I don't know, of course. This no. is totally just a, a way here's out there prediction. The, here's the thing, yeah, the predictions... We have there, we could speculate on all so of this stuff. They gave us I'm having a hard so time. much <laughs> and nothing at the same time. Exactly, like this is a huge a huge plot point because we see that reality as we knew it is somewhat flexible. Either that or Tagomi is just like on an acid trip or something, yeah. which I don't think is the case. No, I think that I think that's I think that that world is mm -hmm. going to be more of what we see going into season two. I think I think that yeah, I think we season start to two is pull gonna be, out of the world we've seen. Interesting. I don't. It's just like, is it going to be like a space time sort of thing, or I? Okay, I predict that we're still going to be in sort of the same world that we've been in, mm -hmm. but there's going to be moments like this with Tagomi, like this moment where, mm -hmm. where where we get glimpses of of the other world, and we try to. I, and I also think that Hitler knows what's going on. I think that he knows exactly what's going on, and maybe lives in these yeah. different. Like maybe like he somehow created this world, this reality for himself. Does that make sense? Like, Oh, okay. Like he somehow, yeah. he somehow created this either through some sort of weird mm -hmm. Nazi engineering or like, or if it's something magical or, yeah. uh, you know, magical quote yeah. unquote, but mm -hmm. something like that. I feel like he has, I just feel like he's created it somehow because, because why else? It doesn't seem like anyone else would choose this reality. Does that make sense? Right. It doesn't seem like any other character in the show would have chosen this reality. And it's like that he had to have been the one that chose it because he was the one that wants it. And, okay. And that's maybe how he knows everything. He just seems to know everything that's going on. Yeah. He seems to understand what the films are. But maybe... Seems to, yeah. Ma yeah, but maybe like these films are somehow like where the fabric of this false reality ripping apart. I mean, this is all speculation. Of course, I no, of course. I have no Well, and that idea. makes me think, okay, so I'm going to predict that Juliana has the film. Okay. Um, And that that was sort of their way of knowing they'll have to see each other again. Because okay, Joe's yeah. going to be sent back. Uh -huh. If he does go back to New York, yeah. so he's going to be sent back to get it. Do you think that Juliana is now like... In, into Joe, like I mean, we, obviously she's been kind of into Joe, but do you think that she's like forsaken Frank for Joe now? Or? No. Okay. But I think she will. Okay. I mean, yeah. especially. Especially now. That I mean, Frank may not even be alive. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's um, true. Too much longer. Yeah. Really. Well, but now if we start getting into these alternate reality things, like what if Frank dies, but in this other reality, like if 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 uh, Juliana is somehow able to pull a Tagomi and meets Frank, you know what I mean? Like True, well, and th it's like, we don't... Death, is death really death now? Because we didn't see, you can phase into this different existence? We're not existence. even predicting anything anymore. <laughs> we're we're just trying a, to make sense it's speculation. of all of this. <laughs> this is a lot to make sense of, though. Did we get um, a video from Keith of um, his prediction? I, I don't know if we did. Nope. Okay. Well, okay. Keith. Keith sends his regards. He's been uh, he's been having a crazy time the past couple of weeks. He had a family thing come up. So, we we send uh, our best well wishes, wishes to him. Yeah, for uh -huh. sure. Um, wish he could be here with us tonight. Uh, he was gonna try to get a video to us, and it doesn't look with like some of he his had. predictions. But let us know yeah. what your predictions are. Uh, well, I guess if, uh, one final thought at all. Uh, I want to see season two. I mean, that's really I could without reading the book. I now. could talk for another hour 
about what could possibly happen <laughs> and not make a single real prediction. So <laughs> what you have to do is you have to go online. What's your Twitter? Uh, T Bolt or Tabolt, T A Y B O L D T. Yes, I'm uh, at Cohen, C O U H E N. Tweet us uh, and talk to us and give us your predictions and we can talk online. Please help and us try to speculate. Help us make sense of all of this because <laughs> I am. I'm a bog yes. or a gog with possibilities. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, guys. Uh, we've loved doing this show, and we look forward to a season two. Yes. We'll see you then. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.